Okay, I've realized that I left out a very important step of all my moth videos, and this is probably the most difficult stage of raising the hornworms. Um, what you need to do is you need to get a critter cage like this, a large one, and fill it up with soil or sand or dirt. I like to use this Jiffy mix that you can get at most gardening centers because it's really clean and there's not too much actual soil and it won't cause your cocoons to grow mold and get fungus on them, which you definitely don't want. Now this one isn't filled quite all the way to the top. And you don't want it to go all the way to the top. You want it to be about four to six inches deep. So you would want to leave a little bit of space right about there when you fill these up. And then you just put your caterpillars, your larvas of your hornworms and your sphinx moths in here once they're uh, full size and have stopped eating and they'll dig down to the bottom and make little tunnels and transform into a cocoon. And this setup is what I use once the cocoons have formed. I like to dig them up and be able to see them when they come out. Uh, you can leave them in the soil which is fine, just make sure that they have a enough air layer that they can get out. The bad thing about leaving them in the soil is that if you're not home, uh, they can come out and crumple up their wings and then they won't fly very well. This setup, what I have, uh, this is a cocoon that already opened, but I just have it there for an example. Put down a, a paper towel or newspaper and I taped this washcloth to the side. Then that's the most important thing because when the moths hatch out, they're going to come out of their cocoons and climb up this and you want to make sure that it's secured with a lid and then they'll hang from the top to dry their wings. It's very important that their wings don't get crumpled once they're uh, drying out. And the tape, the reason I taped it is because you can't close it if you just drape the towel over the edge. So that's very important. So here you can see the difference in size. Uh, the first one that I use for uh, emerging or closing is a medium sized critter cage and the one in the back is the larger size. Um, you can use a fish tank for the soil. I prefer these plastic cages because they're much lighter. I'm not very strong so I don't like to pick up a heavy glass tank filled with a bunch of soil. But either way would work out just fine. Um, I go into more detail about what can be done for this stage in the uh, sidebar, so be sure to read the information on the side.